What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to Basement. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. It seems like people really like this series. Something about drug dealing just really brings people together in a community. You ever notice that? Drug dealing, it brings us all together. It brings us all together. We're gonna do the next level. So far in our criminal empire, we've grown canary food. Uh, we've blitzkrieged an entire neighborhood trying to race the cops for $4,000. I mean, you know, it's been a hectic couple of weeks for our esteemed money-making duo of Kenny and Kyle or whatever their name is. Let's do the next level. So today, what are we gonna do? What's our objective right now? What's our objective? I know we're gonna have a hilarious conversation, so we've got cafe tables. Let me introduce you to one of my friends. It's Henry, he works as a security officer in the bank. Yeah, I'm Henry and I'm a security officer in a bank. There's a lot of money in there. The alert system doesn't work. The guards are weaklings, they don't even own guns. I think I understand what you wanna say, but I'm not really sure. Man, you wanna be a millionaire? Henry has the perfect plan. Apparently, we're robbing a bank now. Where do we go from drug dealing? Bank robbing, obviously. Marijuana, it's a gateway drug. So, why do I have people doing the wrong jobs here? Dealer, go deal. Grower, go grow. Grower, I beseech thee, grow. So what can I build this time around? I've got grow rooms, I've got generators and stuff like that, so I think this will be alright. Uh, where's our generator at for this building? It's right here. Okay, I'm gonna sell it. You cannot delete rooms, so I gotta capture the gym. All right, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put a Jenny in down here because we're going to be going pretty power intensive with what we're trying to do. And I'm trying to keep everything condensed. And so with the break room, I'm going to get that right there. Uh, with the dealer room, we're going to sell that. And then we're going to put a dealer room over here because I want it to be a little bit safer. So a dealer room will go right there. And then we're going to build a break room right here. There we go. Break room has been built. You, sir, go deal over on that. It says food! It's food for the spirit, man. It's food for the psychedelic spirit. And then this right here is going to cost us 500 to upgrade? Oh, no. It's only... Okay, yeah. Slightly increase it. There we go. So we've got a little bit more energy to play around with. I'm going to build another grow op down here. And we're going to put in another dealer room. There we go. Perfect. And then what I need to do is I also need to upgrade my lockers so that we can have a few more employees. So there it is. We upgraded our lockers. I'm going to need a new dealer. So who's got good productivity over here? Who feels like they're a real go-getter? I guess I'll hire a grower first since I already have the grow room. Yeah, you get down here and come do your thing. Obviously, you have to wear a hazmat suit when you're around weed. That dangerous weed, it just likes to jump out. And it just likes to jump out and get you. You know what I mean? It's... It's dangerous. You gotta watch out for that weed growing life, man. It's a gateway drug. At least that's what the government keeps telling me. It's a gateway drug. So let's make a little bit of cash, and I'll get myself a new dealer in here. Perfect. Making a little bit of money. All right. So now it's time for a new dealer. It's gonna be a buck seventy-four for a new deal. Oh, I need more. Damn it! I need more places for my people to put their stuff. Apparently, they can't just throw it on the floor like I do. I'm a floor thrower. I come into the workspace and I'm like, "Eh, hey, jacket goes on the floor. Who's worried about it?" Apparently Heisenberg is. Can't upgrade that any further, so I'm going to build another one down here. And then we will upgrade that straight off the bat. Oh, we need more power to upgrade that. Okay, well, I'll upgrade my power thing in just a minute. For now, maybe I'll just focus on hiring new hands then. I'll get this guy over here. Ooh, no, this guy's got better stamina. We'll hire him. Yes, you, sir, are my new dealer. Have fun slanging those packages to our esteemed and wonderful clientele. It's a business that thrives on you being friendly and making sure that you get repeat business. You can't, no, 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 you can't beat up your customers. When they don't pay you, you have to ask them nicely and be like, hey, can you please pay me? If you don't and you don't have the cash right now, I understand because that's what all good dealers do. So then we've got that all set up. We are now earning money at quite frankly an alarming rate. I'm gonna upgrade this so yes, even bigger generator. Even better, even betterer generator. I almost said batterer, but we're not growing pancakes here. We're not growing pancakes. Uh, I'm going to need another storage room, actually. We are full up. Give me another storage room over here. Is that a money storage room, or is that like a normal... There we go. Got too much weed around, man. Too much weed around. Give me another dealer room up here. And then we will hire another dealer very shortly. Because I think we got a well-oiled machine going on right now. It's looking pretty good to me. And then I'll build another locker over here. Yep, upgrade that so we've got room for six people because we've got enough money on hand at this point that I'm thinking it might be a wise idea to protect our investment. I don't know. We've got a lot of, like, substances laying around, and I would like them to be protected. It looks like we're growing at a rate that's about right. So let me jump in here. We will hire another dealer. You, sir, 
are my new dealer. Would you like to be my dealer? Have you ever seen that video where it's Breaking Bad? Do you want to start a meth lab? It's so sad though at the end. Do you want to make a meth lab? <laughs> it made me laugh, but then the ending's hella sad and you're like, oh, that's basically Breaking Bad. Yeah, that seems about right. Everything turns out for shit. There we go. I'm going to increase the rest rate because we got a lot of people who are going to need rest time going on in. And I want to make sure they're on rotation properly. We may need like a second actual restroom because they keep peeing everywhere that they're not supposed to pee at, man. Drug dealers. Drug dealers. They keep peeing in places where they're not supposed to pee. I don't know. Drug dealers where I'm from have class. They tend to avoid random urination. These guys, I don't know what neighborhood this is, but they're pissing everywhere. It's just like what they do. Maybe I'll make another break room down here too. There we go. Another break room so that we actually have a better rotation. So the oiled machine comes even oilier. So the grease of the machine becomes greasier. Alright, so we got a little bit of money together. I'm thinking it's time that we put together another, yet another, room right there. We don't have room for a garage, unfortunately. But this should... Error? Oh, I don't have enough electricity, unfortunately. And I need 750 for that upgrade right there. So our cash flow is a little weak right now. Got to bring our cash flow game up. Gotta start making money. Gotta get that moolah. Send it all to ya. There we go. And so now I should be able to upgrade this right here. So now we've got to get the cash together so that we can hire some thugs and send them out some straight riders. They can't deny us. They got supply us. I could also raise the efficiency of some of these dealer booths if I wanted to. So yeah, let's, uh, why not? We don't have any space for building left, so we might as well. And then, if there was anything else around here I could get rid of, I would, but... I don't know. A second Jenny might not work out for us right now. Either way, we got one of our upgrades done right there, and everything else is working out pretty well. So I don't really have any complaints. It looks like we're net in the positive. Now that we got a bit more cash put together, let's slow the game down. And we're gonna go on a hiring spree right now. I need thugs. I need thugs and riders. People with good damage. So I'm gonna hire you. I'm gonna hire you. I'm gonna hire you. I'm going to hire you. And that gives us four thugs. Four ride or die homies that are ready to hit it up. And so let's take everybody that's free right now. And we're going to attack this gym next door. Something bad's probably going to happen when we do this. I bet it's a trigger and something terrible is going to happen. But it increases our population cap. It gives us training rooms for our thugs so that they can get stronger. And so, you know, that's the kind of thing that I'm kind of down for. What's the gym for? Hire some guys and make them train. The more fighters, the better. Robbing a bank is serious business. Yeah, it's about what I figured. So I'll put you, anybody that's wounded, so you go over there, you're wounded, so I'm going to fire you. You go over here and train. I'm going to fire you because I don't have any space. And what they'll do right now is they'll actually start working out and they'll raise their levels so that they can hit a bit harder. And then we'll have like hardened, trained thugs that are ready to go. Guys that are ready to take out the enemy with little notice. And so I think they'll train up pretty quickly. And so, yeah, there it is right there. I mean, the first buff took him up by, like, 0.5. We're out of storage space. That's okay. I'm not that upset about it. I think we'll be okay for right now. I may actually... Maybe I'll raise his damage up a little bit. I don't know. It might be worth it to train some other people to throw down, but... Who knows anymore? They're at 6.4 damage and 6.7 damage. We have no items dropped, so I can't equip them with anything supplementary just yet. I will upgrade you so that you actually rest people a little bit faster. And then I don't want to hire. I actually just want to upgrade, but we don't have the electricity for it. Okay. Well, we still have five pop caps, so I'm all right with that. And then you go over here and keep training. And so we've got to rob the bank on that side. Okay. After looking, what I could really use is a location with a garage or something. These guys aren't fully trained yet, so I'll probably come back once they are. But I'm going to give it a minute. These guys are basically done now, so that's where I want them to be at. Uh, with maximum health and maximum damage, these two should be able to roll alternate locations without like hardly any effort on the part of the both of them. I think it should be good, and so they're pretty much finished. Like They can keep training if you really want them to, but I don't think I really want them to. We'll take the two people that are free, and oh my god, they're going to stomp these kids out. These kids are going to have a rough day. They're going to have a real rough day. We need a location with distribution options, so we're going to take this location right here. Uh, take the people that are free and send them on over to attack. They got nine damage a pop, and by pop I mean those knuckles we put across the side of your head if you try to cross us. Luckily this time around we don't got to fight any robots or anything, so... Oh my god, the knockout game is real. 
Yup. Don't split your damage. You got focus fire. You got focus fire. Stay on it. Alright, we're going to clear out some of this garbage. Uh, we got a dealer room in here. Let me build... I'm going to build a temporary... Oh, I can't. I don't have any energy. Yeah. Uh, I need like a medical ward is what I need badly. Because I can't afford to lose these guys anymore. I could sell these two punching bags and put a medical ward in at the gym. Or I could get rid of this secondary rest spot, I suppose. But I need a place where I can intravenously, intravenously give these guys loving. Intravenous loving. Alright, it's only got to be temporary. It doesn't have to be permanent. Like, we just need it to work for right now. So I'll build that right there. And then uh, give me that right there. And they can go heal themselves very rapidly. And once my max level fighters are back up and ready to go, I'm going to send a few more people off to this side. Let me hire two here. So we'll get two more thugs and gangsters. This is for my thugs and my hustlers. We'll put them in right here. Yep, and that's exactly what I wanted you guys to do. Good job. Uh, once these guys are getting healed up, I'll swap this out. What I'll do is I'll get rid of the IV station. And once the IV station's all taken care of, we'll get rid of it. Uh, we'll put this back in so that somebody can start dealing from here. The nice thing about this is he's actually transferring. Can I hire another transport? Or is that going to be tough? Can I not do that? Is there a reason why I can't do that? Oh, I've only got certain vehicle slots. Can I sell the vehicle that I have? Can't delete rooms. Okay, so all I got is this little guy running weed around. That's okay. It doesn't upset me that much. You guys are both fully healed. There's no break room over here. So, I'll build a break room just so they can deal in the meantime and make me some money. There we go. And then we will upgrade that. Yup. And while she's not going to sell that fast, she will sell okay. How are you guys doing over here with your training? You guys are looking like you're getting ready? Alright, well probably, I don't know how many people I'm going to need to knock this place over. But these guys all have like 7 damage. So my assumption is that like, yeah, I'm going to need a couple of people to kick ass and take names over on this side. Otherwise, it's going to get a little bit rowdy before it gets better. All of our space has been taken up over here. She's selling the weed that she has, so that's fine. Uh, keep the vehicle running back and forth. I do wish we had more capacity to get that done, but we don't. We don't. How's your training going? Are you guys done yet? Almost. Can I just mention how much I like the music in this game? Like, they really nailed kind of the dark theme of this game with the music. Like, the music is dope. It's super dope. Like, I really like it. Like, I would put this on jam on my car while I'm cruising around. Just mean mugging people. Be like, yeah, I got bricks in the trunk. Who cares? Who want to say something about it? Catch them with that. Catch them with that firestorm if they got the issue. Catch them with the firestorm with the shredder rounds. They can find out. Just... So what I want to do over here, and what is actually going to happen, are sort of adversely aligned. Uh, as long as we keep a thug over here, that's cool. Like, do they keep training once they max out? I don't think that they do. I'm going to start taking all the max level people over here to this side. And once they're done, they're done. Okay, they are done. So what I'll do then is I'm going to take everybody that's free. Not you, though. Not you. I'm going to unchoose you. I'm going to send everybody back to main headquarters so that I can rotate in people over on this side. So now she's maxed out. Uh, let me hire a few more thugs. I got room for three more. And so I've got a break room inside of here. Let's go ahead and we will get you. We will get you. And you guys just come over here and start training. Uh, everybody that's free, we will send to the alternate location. I could start whacking other locations. I don't know if that's worth it, though. This place has extra space to build. I could turn this into a medical facility. Yeah, give me everybody that's free. We'll attack this spot right here. These guys won't survive it as long as you guys focus your fire. There you go. Nice job. Let's go ahead and dig some of this out. We'll put a Jenny in the basement. There we go. We will build an IV room. And we will upgrade said IV room with extra pills and healing. Uh, this side... I don't know really what I want to do with this over here. I don't really know. I guess I could put in another grow up. Like, it's not the best idea, but it is an idea nonetheless. And then we could put, like, a dealer room in over here. Like, one of the classy dealer rooms. Like, one of the really nice ones. Sounds alright to me. Uh, if you guys are wounded, 
you should definitely go lay up. Yeah, get yourselves healed. I don't know how your health is looking, but it needs to be better. So there we go. Keep them employees nice and angry. And then we'll take everybody that's free. We're going to shift them back over to this side. So take all the free guys and tell them to go there. And then we're going to go on a higher right now. And we're going to grab you. And so you, sir, Emilio. Emilio, go over and start dealing. I need to start looking through and seeing where I can upgrade some of this stuff. I got no energy right there, so I can't really do much with that. Uh, do I have any other locations I can upgrade at and just turn it into like a location where I got a bunch of people that can do their thing? Is he going to grow or like what's he going to do? He's going to grow. Okay, so he can grow for a little bit. That's fine. This building over here is basically doing its thing right now. Eh, it's workable. I mean, she's got max damage though, so... It might be worth it to bring her back over to this side. Yeah, choose to have her go back over here. And how are we looking as far as attackers go? Like, five attackers at max damage? I don't know if they'll work their way through there, but it'll definitely make a dent in it. It'll make a really good dent in it. It kind of depends how the enemies get spread out. Yeah, let's hit it. Let's do this thing. I, I think we've dithered enough. We'll take all of our free characters who have their maxed out damage or whatever. Except for Neil, who apparently has not gotten the job done yet. And we'll attack over there. We'll just see how it goes. It's more than... It's pretty simple for me to just get a whole bunch more thugs and riders and killers. It's not that difficult. Uh, somebody need to get a gun. Oh, I can't equip a gun right now. They don't have inventory slots. Yeah, rob that thing then. Let's do it with overwhelming damage. He got sneakers. Hell yeah, we stole that guy's J's. Good boy. Brought me money. By the way, you're in the wanted list, and now we should probably part our ways. Good luck. What? See, now we gotta get revenge. Oh, no. We got raided? Uh, bring everybody back to this side, please. I will sell that. And we're gonna put in a medical room right here. And then we're gonna upgrade it. I think we're getting hit right now. No! How could you? No, police, why? Did you really believe you could break into the bank, beat the security guards, and take the money and just leave? You'll get right into prison, son. Yeah, it was a bad idea. There's another level, though, so that's pretty sweet. What's up with the next level? Oh, we start out in prison. That's rough. Okay, well, what do we have going on? Free prisoners. Gunter must not die. You cannot build. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm surprised to see you here. Who did it to you? Oh, yeah, it was me who turned you into the cops. What do you want from me? Well, maybe it's my conscience. Here's my plan. We break into the building next to this one, come to an agreement with the police captain. He controls the police, controls the town, and that was my plan. You're sick. Gather an inmate gang. He's like, ah, it's just the lupus. Don't worry about it. I can still fight. Gather an inmate gang, train him, and meet at the captain. Hurry, cops will look for you anywhere. Try to bribe him. I think I'm going to go back shopping. You want a cola? See ya. All right, well, he beat a cop down. And then he said he's going to shit on my doormat. Okay, can I, like do anything with these rooms so these guys all have like one damage yeah these guys are not super strong doesn't look like I can do a whole lot with what I have going on right now in fact their chances of like getting out of here the raid is coming to the main prison uh I don't even know what I should hit right now. All these locations look like they might be a little sturdy for what I'm trying to do. I don't think we're going to fight off the cops either. This might not work very well. No! Fight with the cops. We're going to lose. And now we're dead. Shizer. All criminals must be put into jail. Okay, so basically we got to work quick on that one. We got to work real quick. All right, we'll click on through that. Okay, so let's slow the game down for a minute. I've got people. They're all taken care of. So we're at five out of zero. So realistically, we want to hit a location like this one that allows us to get set up and self-sufficient. So maybe we will uh, choose everybody and attack there. I don't know. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. Life's weird like that sometimes. 
Yep, roll out. Get him. Get him, champ. Get him. Luckily, the prison inmates are a little bit faster than I am. So we've got this location. Are you guys productive or anything like that? You are not productive. Okay. Well, there's no dealer room in here. But we do have a grow. So that might work. There are six remaining prisoners. Where are they at? I don't see another. Oh, there's two prisoners right there. Okay, so we got to rescue a few more people. Uh, if you can grow some stuff over here, that'll give us at least some basic cash to get started. And then we can try to jump one of these locations over here. Although, maybe taking this one first was a smarter idea. Because this one over here has, like, IVs and stuff that we can use. Yeah. A little bit more worrisome, but let me get some weed together real fast. And we'll kind of transfer around as time goes along. Oh, we have 500 bucks? That's not too bad. I didn't even realize we had cash. I can live with that. All right, so let's take everybody. We're going to hit this building next because that's going to allow us to get access to healing. And I think healing is probably something we want to focus on. Oh, don't split your damage, dude. Oh, they split their damage. What a bunch of scrubs. What a bunch of scrubs. Why would you do that? No! My name is Splattercat. This is Baseman. If you want to see more, we can try to beat this level in the next go. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. It's been a lot of fun so far. I like this game. I can't wait to see where it goes. It would help if Kenny stuck around. If Kenny stuck around, I think we'd be in better shape. But Kenny did not stick around. If you like what I do here on the internet, my name is Splattercat. I show off indie games every single day to a population who needs to know about indie games so that indie developers can continue to eat and have jobs. Because indie games are rad. They got me through a tough time in my life, and so I like to repay it by giving them, you know, a spotlight and letting people know about cool indie projects that are coming out as of late. Uh, my name is Splattercat. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in, and hi-do, everybody. Bye-bye.